What is up, fellow thermonuclear AFers? I am Dan Favalli coming at you with what is going to be the big, long-awaited What If Project for the Hardware Knox podcast. Very quickly, before I explain to you what it is and what you're going to watch in the forthcoming clip, please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking us out. Like and comment on our videos. Help the algorithm love us back. It means a lot. Your subscription is the most important thing. Hit that subscribe button. And again, it will genuinely mean the world. The Golden State Warriors are up next in our what if exercise. Good luck winnowing down their what if options. What if they didn't collapse in the 2016 finals? What it, would Kevin Durant still board the bandwagon that summer? Or what if they didn't overcome a three to one deficit of their own against the Oklahoma City Thunder that same postseason? What if the Warriors never swap out Mark Jackson for Steve Kerr? Or what if a David Lee injury didn't create the original runway for Draymond Green to take on a more prominent role? What if the Warriors traded Klay Thompson for Kevin Love? What if the Warriors select LaMelo Ball at number two in 2020 over James Wiseman? What if Chris Cohen never sold the team to Joe Lacob and Peter Guber? Naturally, I was more than happy to shift the onus of this decision onto my cherished colleague, co-host of this podcast, Bleacher Report's Grant Hughes. Here's what he wrote to me. If we accept that Stephen Curry is the person most responsible for transforming the Warriors from laughingstock to a glamour market powerhouse, which we should accept that because it's true, then we have to choose the moment that would have removed him from the organization entirely. It could have been him and not Monta Ellis who went to the Bucks in a package for Andrew Bogut in 2012. Hughes continued to explain that. Judging by the fan response at the time, most might have even preferred that Curry had been the one to go. The home crowd relentlessly booed Governor Joe Lacob in the aftermath of the trade. If only they'd known then that the next seven years would include three titles and five finals trips, a remarkable run of success driven by Curry, who'd win a pair of NBA MVPs in the process. Basically, every other sliding doors moment in the relevant portion of Warriors history hinges on that one transaction. Remove Curry from the equation via that trade, and the dubs would have been led by Ellis, who never averaged over 20 points per game following the trade, and, if we're being honest, was always a glorified sixth man masquerading as a starter. In that alternate reality, there are no Splash Brothers. Draymond Green wouldn't have had an all-time shooter and off-ball mover to minimize his weaknesses and play to his strength. The 73-win season surely never would have happened, and KD would neither arrive nor depart. The whole course of Warriors history would have gone in another indisputably worse direction. Curry saved the franchise that nearly traded him. I agree with Hughes here. That just has to be the biggest what if. The Warriors are this indomitable, historically great force, and Curry is the nerve center of it all. The